Hello, beautiful peaches. Welcome to the Macros, Metabolism, and Motivation Beautiful Peach Podcast. I'm your host, Caitlin, a reverse diet expert, sustainable fat loss nerd, and food freedom lover. After healing my own mind, body, and metabolism from the icky, restrict binge food guilt cycles, I became obsessed with helping other women do the same. I spent six years getting my bachelor's and master's degrees in all things nutrition, dietetics, and metabolism health, go Clemson Tigers, in order to start a science-backed, never cookie-cutter, always customized online macro and reverse diet coaching business. I have supported over 3,500 incredible women in their journey to endless results, and I am so excited to help you do the same. In this podcast, I will be teaching you how to break up with the yo-yo diet cycles, tips and tricks to heal your metabolism through reverse dieting. I will be giving away my sustainable weight loss secrets, all without you having to give up a single food you love. So if you are ready to rediscover that self-love and truly become the most confident, beautiful peach possible, grab a pen and a piece of paper, bump up your volume just a little, and let's dive right in. And don't forget to snag your completely free high-protein macro cookbook. All you need to do is submit a quality five-star rate and review on this podcast, then fill out the form in the show notes so I know exactly where to send your cookbook. This will actually also automatically enter you into the weekly macro calculator giveaway. Every week, I give away a copy of my C. Schmidt macro calculator to one lovely, beautiful peach who has left an awesome, awesome five-star rate and review on this podcast. The winner is announced every single week in my email newsletter email list, as well as my Instagram story. You can't miss it. So leave that five-star rate and review, and I will see you in the episode. What is up, my beautiful, beautiful peach? Today, we are going to walk through my four steps to help you troubleshoot your plateau. I honestly get this question so incredibly much of generally, hey, I've got a plateau going on. I have absolutely no idea why. And uh, I get this a lot in the DM. So on Instagram, I'm chatting with you awesome women. I am chatting through these different things. And this is just a, this is a question that comes up all the time. So there are four questions that I usually ask to get more information, to help troubleshoot you, to kind of figure out, you know, pinpoint what is going on to get you out of that plateau and get that momentum going again. And I I realized, it's like, why don't I just do an episode to where I can, you know, share these these four questions, these four kind of steps to figure out the, pin, the pinpoint what's going on so you can do a little self-assessment on your own. And of course, I am more please do not even hesitate to reach out and DM me questions. Um, but if you're like, hey, I might as well do this self assessment, then I yeah, absolutely go for it. Okay. So we are let's go ahead and just dive on in. I was gonna take an, another little note, but let's get a little the little uh, little bop that plays the little tune that plays. Um, let's go ahead and get into that so we can get into the episode. Four steps to troubleshoot your plateau. We are going to get right into it. Number one, this one is uh, surprisingly one of the most common for women who have never really listened, who are women who are new to me, who are new to my podcast, to, you know, my Instagram, to wherever it may be. If you are new in my world, this is one of the most common problems that I do see, Okay. Number one, the question is, where did you get your macros calculated? Okay, where did you get your macros calculated? We do not want to use online macro calculators that just use your height, your weight, your age, your activity factor, things like my fitness pal, things like, um, I mean, really any online calculator that you just type in your height, your weight, your age and activity factor, right? Any kind of calculator that solely is using those variables to calculate your macros 
are not going to be accurate. And the reason for this is because it's not taking into account your actual past diet history. What is going on with your metabolism? Maybe even some of your preferences. And that basically means that it could massively overestimate the amount that you should be eating. And this causes weight regain, okay? Or in many cases, it also massively underestimates, estimates, that was not right, underestimates how much you should be eating. And it actually has a serious impact on your metabolism, slowing your metabolism down. So let's do an example here. Say you want to lose weight and you go to my fitness pal and it tells you that you should be eating 1200 calories. Okay. Because my fitness pal just pretty much tells everybody if they want to lose weight, they're either going to be eating 1200 calories to 1500 calories. And I'm like, that just doesn't, that's not the way we go about putting somebody into a calorie deficit. That's not the way that that works. And the problem with this is sure you will, you might, I shouldn't say you will, you might lose weight, but there are alternative ways to lose weight without slashing those calories. Because what often happens is it will slow your metabolism. And then what often happens is it does promote weight regain. It will cause our energy to crash, our libido, our sex drive crashes. So many different unexpected side effects start to happen, okay? And I know that sounds dramatic. I don't mean to be like, it's so, I mean, it's, it does sound dramatic, but it is one of those things that can be avoided if you have not done, done that yet. And if you um, are somebody who has done that, please do not be like, SOS, Caitlin, this is so bad. You are just fine. Um, uh, you are not the only one who has done this. I personally, before I did have all of my education, I did this. Um, I bounced from like one calculator to the next. I was like, I'm not seeing results from iifym.com. Let's go to my fitness pal. Not seeing results. Like I would just like bounce from one to the other. And then when I actually learned in my education on how to actually calculate macros, I was like, ah, I see. I understand now. Uh, if you are somebody who is like, yes, I would really like my macros to be calculated down below in the show notes. Uh, there is my C Schmidt macro calculator. You can also just DM me the words macro calculator on Instagram. And I will literally just send you the link to, uh, directly. So you can go to my Instagram and it's at C S C H M I D T period F I T. Send me a DM the words macro calculator, and I will send you all of the details there. Uh, number two. So that's number one. Where did you get your macros calculated? And just verifying that you are having the correct macros. Number two, have you been hitting your macros? Have you actually been hitting your macro goals? And I talked in depth about this on episode 97. Uh, the actual episode title is top five reasons your reverse diet isn't working. So I talked a little bit about that there. I want to get into a little bit more here just because I think that it is actually really overlooked that we actually have to hit our macros. And I think I, I shouldn't say it's overlooked. I think a lot of times we are in a space where we recognize that, you know, consistency is how we see results, but consistency sometimes is hard to achieve when you don't have the right system. You don't have the right game plan. You don't have the right, you know, action steps to take. So it feels really, really hard. And I don't want to say that it's going to be easy because nothing in life, nothing And my favorite quote, it's like not my favorite, but like one of them, like nothing worth having, having comes easy. And it's true that like nothing is going to be, you know, a cakewalk if we really, really, if it's something that's new and outside of our comfort zone, but it shouldn't be so painfully hard that we are, well, and I say this, because I have been in that place where I was like, but it is so hard. Like, I, I don't understand how all these women are having all these amazing success. And how are, you know, how are these people going out to eat and, you know, living their life and traveling and, you know, enjoying the weekend without starting over? And I was like, I don't get it. And then once I learned how to navigate those situations, it was like, wait, this makes so much sense. Okay, I actually do understand, you know, how to continue to see success and to have that consistency in a way that feels really good to me and allows me to live my life because we, we don't have to give up our life in order to see results. And we shouldn't give up our life in order to see results. Okay. Like we shouldn't, it's not one or the other. There's a way to have them both. And I think that kind of like bringing it back and I have literally have my notes. How did I know I was going to go on this tangent? I said, I literally have my notes. The long story short, if we don't hit our macros consistently, our body will have no clue what we're doing. And our body thrives with consistency. Our metabolism absolutely loves consistency. And consistency comes from hitting our macro goals. So the example that I always say is uh, if we're imagining a map to uh, 
I always, I always use Italy because I love Italy and I'm actually going to Italy in December and I'm so excited. My husband has never been and uh, I am wildly excited. We are going to do Rome and we are going to do Florence and it's going to be wonderful. Anyway, let's say that we are going to, um, let's say we are going to Florence. Okay. We've got our map of Italy and we are going to Florence pretty gosh darn easy to follow the map and to get to where we need to go, right? We have quote unquote consistency in the map and we're going to get to where we need to go. That is essentially the same thing as us hitting our macro goals. It is going to get us to where we need to go. Okay. However, if we have a map of uh, the United States and we're trying to get to Florence, we are not going to get to where we need to go because we are not going to have the right road map AKA also we're not going to get the right consistency. So the main piece here is we really want to make sure that we are actually hitting our macro goals. I say hit your macros six out of the seven days of the week, still be mindful on that seventh day. But all of my clients, I do give one free meal a week. The really cool part though, is because the way that I do coach the way that I teach, which also my beautiful peach mastermind is currently open for enrollment. I don't know if I shared this on last week's episode. I have just now opened enrollment last week and we have a few spots left. I don't remember the exact number. I do have a few spots left. They go like hotcakes. So if you are interested, you can go ahead and either DM me the word BPM. Just go ahead and sometimes people DM me things and I'm like, is this a question? But DM me BPM coaching and I will send you some more information on that. The link is also down below in the show notes. But the big thing that we we do in uh, in my coaching is I'm really big on making sure that we are fitting everything naturally into your life. So you're able to eat the food that you love every single day. We are not eliminating anything unless you have a food intolerance or allergy, then yes, like probably not good to eat those. We don't want you going in the anaphylactic shock. But my point here is nothing is off limit. And I, in my beautiful peach mastermind, I'm here to teach you how to navigate your life, how to eat the real foods, how to, you know, take a step away from that mindset, from the restricted and binge cycles and get you into a place where you are truly thriving. And in BPM, like the big thing here is it becomes easy to hit those macro goals because you are having, you know, you're having the ability to learn how to live your life while seeing those results at the same time. Okay. You shouldn't have to give up your life in order to see results. You get to have both. Okay. Now, so number one, where did you get your macros calculated? Number two, have you been hitting your macros? Um, you know what I also might do? I might, I have another guide for this. I'm like, I have so many fun little guides that I just, I don't, I don't know why I don't share them. Um, I have a guide that actually walks through, literally walks through these four tips, um, or these four steps to trouble, uh, troubleshoot. I always say like, it's one thing to just like hear me talking at you and like take your notes, but to be able to have like a guide and literally go through these four steps is so gosh darn nice. Um, so I will actually drop that down below in the show notes for you. If you want to grab that, I will just title it four steps to troubleshoot your plateau, just like this podcast episode. And you will be able to see it there. So you can literally download it, print it off if you want to. I'm a big printer person. I love, I love to see it in my hand so I can take notes on it so I can write all over it. Um, and you can download that so you will actually have the ability to do so and to actually go through. Okay. But do keep listening or what you can do is go download the guide. Oh my gosh, wait, do that. I should have said this at the beginning. Go download the guide and then go listen to this episode as I'm going through it, as you're filling out the guide. I feel like that's such a good idea. <laughs> I, don't, I just thought about that. That was a light bulb moment. I want to interrupt this oh so lovely podcast episode of mine to let you know that BPM, my beautiful peach mastermind, is open for enrollment. BPM is my high level group coaching program for women who want to reverse diet to heal their metabolism from that restrictive burnout so they can lose the weight and keep it off for good. It is for women who want to increase their energy and joy for life so they can chase after their kiddos, go out to eat with their significant other, and even have wine night with the girls without that restrict binge and food guilt cycle. As a bonus, all of my BPM clients get complimentary access to my reverse diet course. Well, you will learn exactly how to adjust macros for reverse dieting on your own. This quite literally includes my own personal spreadsheets that help you customize your reverse diet for your success. 
I even threw in my alcohol plug and play tracker for you ladies. Go ahead and apply through the link in the show notes or hop over to my Instagram and feel free to send me the DM BPM sneak peek for my inside look of the program details. I can't wait to see your application and enjoy the rest of the episode. Number three, how long have you been tracking your macros? And this one is multifaceted, okay? So if you have the proper starting macros, which was question one, and you have been hitting your macros, which is uh, consistently, which is question number two, but you haven't really been tracking your macros very long, this might be your problem, not always, but it really, it, it could be. Okay. So when it comes to progress and here's where I want you to kind of like take a step back, maybe take some notes on that little guide. It's completely free. It's just down below in the show notes. Um, take some notes on there when it comes to progress, it, it will take time. Okay. And me, myself and I am this kind of person when we don't see immediate changes happen sometimes it pushes us into like a panic mode. And we're like, what, what's going on? I haven't seen any changes. We start to lose momentum. Oh, well, Betty Sue over there lost 50 pounds in five days, which that is literally not realistic at all. But you see these crazy, you know, fast, quick fixes online. And it's like, well, what's wrong with me? And it causes us to go into this mindset where we're like, well, this isn't working. I'm just going to give up and I'm going to go find something else. I'm going to go do what Betty Sue is doing, which is probably some crazy restrictive something or other. And it's showing the crazy results, but it's not showing the weight regain that she's having. It's not showing the binge and restrict cycles. It's not showing the negative, you know, relationship with food that she now has. And so I really, really encourage you because I have also been in this place in the past. What we don't want to do is completely panic when we are not seeing changes right away. Don't start panicking, number one. And number two, don't start panicking, panic changing your macros. If if you have step number one, you have the correct macros, right? You, you have the proper macros, like you can use um, my Seashmit macro calculator. But number one, you've hit, you have the proper macros. Number two, you're consistently hitting those macros. Don't panic and go run to, you know, the next app, to the next my macros plus that's what i use for tracking my macros don't go run to the next app and try and have them calculated there we need to give basically we need to give ourselves time and i always say like give yourself a minimum a minimum of six weeks of that consistency with the right macros okay a minimum of six weeks of being consistent consistently hitting those macros the same exact numbers okay otherwise we are just going to give up and i have an analogy because that's the way i roll Progress is literally like watching water boil, okay? If we watch a pot for 10 seconds and nothing happens, we don't panic and take the pot off the stove or, you know, run around or, I don't know, do whatever, right? I just literally pictured myself holding a pot of water running around. I was like, that is the oddest image ever. But we don't do that. We understand that it's going to take time and we know that the water is heating up in the pan even though we can't actually see it. Okay. We can't see until it starts boiling, right? That's when we're actually starting to see it. We cannot see that the water is heating up. If we felt it, sure we could, but just by looking at it, just looking at it, we cannot see that. Okay. Our body is so similar. We can't always see that things are happening. We might feel it, right? We feel the water. Oh, it's getting a little bit warmer. We might feel it. We might actually feel a little more energy coming into play. Oh, we might feel, you know, our libido is starting to increase. Like we might feel these things, but maybe you haven't physically started to see those pro- uh, that those products. I mean, I guess the products of if it's hitting your macros, we aren't physically seeing that necessarily right away. Okay, so we can't sit and hyper focus on every detail that might indicate that the water is about to boil. Like it might indicate that you know our body is doing this or that. We just have to make sure we're hitting the check marks right, having the correct macros, being consistent, and giving it time. Okay. And in that case, we know and we are giving ourselves the comfort that we are going in the right direction, okay? If you were hitting those one, two, and three, okay, you are going in the right direction, okay? Very important. Now, here is, uh, oh, I have more notes. Actually, I have a lot of more notes here. This is another good example. Our heart is beating, but we don't always feel it beating. But it's actually not that good of an example. I guess I'm trying to infer that, like, we aren't seeing our heart beating, we know it's happening. <laughs> um, 
anyway, I guess, you know, fat loss and our metabolism health is the same. We might not see it, but it is happening. Okay. And I think too, like a lot of times it's hard when you're seeing people on social media, having these like crazy, crazy weight loss stories. And it's hard to keep ourselves in our lane, which is why I think having an accountability partner group is like so incredibly important because it allows us to say, Hey, no, you're okay. Like you are okay. You're, you're going in the right direction. You're okay. You are fine. And it allows us to not jump ship into the next diet and completely give up on, you know, the consistency and the actual progress that we were having. We just couldn't quite see it yet. And it's so sad because I, I mean, in the past I used to do this before I had all, you know, the nerdy knowledge, but it was one of those things where I'd be like one week in and all of a sudden I'm like, I'm not seeing results. I am going down these spirals from social media and I'm like, oh shoot, I guess I should just go do keto again. You know, oh shoot, I guess I should just go do this or that again. And you just have to stay in your lane as hard as that can be. It's so worth it. So worth it. Okay. Now the last thing that I have here, I don't know where my fourth point is in this actual notes. I have so many notes in here. That's so funny. I am literally, I, I, I honestly, when I'm recording my podcast, I have all my notes and then I sometimes just kind of like, and by sometimes I mean almost every episode, I just go off the side and I'm like the words are flowing. My thoughts are flowing. So I'm sure I covered everything in my notes, but I want to get to, to number four here. Okay. So if you have the proper starting macros, which was the question one I said above to ask yourself, if you have been hitting your macros consistently, that's question number two. If you have been tracking your macros for a prolonged period of time, say for example, six weeks, question number three, and you're still not seeing changes happen. And we're still just like, I'm not feeling anything, Caitlin. I'm not seeing anything, Caitlin. I don't really know if anything's happening here. Then it boils down, boils down. Didn't mean that. But it does though, it boils down to you needing to adjust your macros, okay? We have to to adjust our macros for continued results after step one, two, and three, AKA question one, two, and three have been asked and are checked off. If those are checked off, it is time to adjust your macros for those continued results, okay? Our body and our metabolism can adapt to a certain macro intake after a prolonged period of time. I do wanna also say there's no one size fits all for that timeline, which is why I do recommend minimum of six weeks of true consistency, true hitting those macros, and then reassess, okay? So when we are continuously able to adjust our macros over time, okay, our protein, our carbs, our fat are actually adjusted separately based on our goal, based on our body, based on our weekly uh, variables. That's what I teach in my beautiful Peach Mastermind. This will allow you to quite literally reach any goal that you have, okay? Whether that is a reverse diet to heal your metabolism, whether that is a calorie deficit, whether that is a lean bulk, whether, you know, I mean, you're going in between those phases, there are certain macro adjustments for each. And it's, I mean, totally honest with you, it is a complex process in the sense of there's a lot of different moving pieces, but when you have that roadmap, it's really not that complex. It's really paying attention to what's going on with your body and checking the boxes, okay? So I have an example here and I say, I'm like reading my notes here. And nope, I just told you this. <laughs> I literally just told you this, but what was I just saying? Like I write these notes and then I don't actually pay attention to them. And then as I'm reading them, I'm like, oh, I've already talked about all of this. So the main, the main piece here that I do want to recap is whether you are doing a reverse diet, whether you are doing a calorie deficit, whether you are, you know, wanting to build muscle, there are going to be different macro adjustments and different lengths of time for each of those. And I think what's important to this part is once you have quite literally mastered and checked off that first question, AKA you have the proper macros, you have the consistency, the second question, and then you've given it time, the third question, it's time to adjust macros. And this basically has turned you into like the macro pro. And once you learn to adjust your macros, like you are smooth sailing for the rest of your life. And that's why... That is why in my beautiful peach mastermind, it is so important to me to teach you everything that I do as a coach, 
Because I, I want you, obviously, I love, love, love working with my clients, but I don't, you know, I want you to learn the what, the why, and the how of what we're doing. I want you to understand why, you know, I am adjusting a, a certain macro, a certain amount for your reverse diet compared to a different macro by a different amount for your calorie deficit, okay? Like, I want you to have the understanding behind those pieces, and because it is a higher level of a, you know, variables that go into it. That's why I did create my beautiful peach mastermind. So we can really work through all of those variables. But once you, I mean, I mean, I, I keep saying this, but like, once you are at that point where you're understanding how to adjust macros, you're at this point, fourth uh, question, if you will, you are smooth freaking sailing. You are so smooth sailing. So I, I really I highly suggest, I feel like this was a loaded, all kinds of things. Um, and if you have more questions, if, if anything I said this episode and you're like, hey, Caitlin, I actually have more questions on this, please send me a DM. I am more than ha happy to chat about anything and everything, okay? And then, oh my gosh, my stomach just growled. I don't know if you can hear that. I am so hungry. What time? Yep. I, I It's so funny. Around like 12 o'clock, my body's, it's 1241 right now. I've been recording podcasts. But my body's like, I'm hungry, Caitlin. I'm like, yes, I'm going to eat a sandwich. That's going to be tasty. But my main thing here, give yourself this, you know, this review of these four questions. You can download the guide if you would like to. It's down below in the show notes. Uh, and you will be able to literally go through each of these questions, assess for yourself and figure out where it is, the, the actual pinpoint of where your plateau is coming from. So you're able to get out of that plateau and really get your progress moving forward. Okay. So, ooh, I have a hiccup. With all that, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm excited for next week's episode. I'm always excited for the episodes and I'm always excited to share these things. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you in the next one. Bye, my beautiful peach.